Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun. Let's get into a minute, let's go. Let me say this. First of all, I'm so happy to see Trina and Vaughn still together and black love is definitely living over here. So Trina was on a show doing a food review or something and somebody had come in her comments and said that Tracy was not deceased. Trina went off. I'm talking about F-bombs everywhere. Bum was right there and he had her back and this is what he had to say. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We'll come talk to you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Don't worry about it at all. Don't do that. It's all right. I got you. I got you. Yeah, run and hide, little bitch. Oh, and then they, um, and then somebody else just called me and I'll call because I'm drinking right now on the show. I'm gonna fuck them too. There we go. You can't do something positive. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You just, see, the thing is, you just have to, you never, you never, you don't know how to be mean. You know what you mean. That's your problem. I'm about to show you. Now, if all Trina's problem is, is that she doesn't know how to be mean, and Bun is going to show her, he did, right? So even Tamar had come in on here and said, Bun is not playing. I know that's right, but I'm so glad to see them together, and I'm so glad to see he got her back. Let's go. Now, I am so excited about this, right? But I thought that Cardi said she wasn't going to do any more, or she's not going to do any more features. So she has a new song out called Bungos, and it's featuring Megan Thee Stallion. And it'll be out Friday. And I am so excited to hear this. Let me know what y'all think about this, because my girl is back. ASAP Rocky was on Drink Champs, and he was asked if he thought that Travis Scott had stolen his look, right? And... ASAP had a great answer, real grown man, and P.S. Rihanna, I get it, girl. I get it. Let's get into it. But did you feel like that at one point? I mean, I saw similarities for sure. Right. You know, I saw that he was inspired and shit like that, but that's what we in it for. Yeah. Like, that's good sportsmanship. Baby, Beyonce had a birthday out of this world, right? I think this was the third night that she was in L.A. She brought Kendrick Lamar out for America Has a Problem. That was dope. Dinah Ross came on stage and sang happy birthday to her. That was dope. Carisha had got her best outfit together with her fan that says heated. It is too cute. And lastly, Beyonce always has a plan. Somebody posted this, Beyonce coming out at 9.04 on 9.04, her mind. She don't ever do anything, just not on purpose. Happy birthday, Virgo sister. Let's keep going. Did y'all get into what Just Hilarious has said about why Erica Mena may have called Spice a monkey? This is what she said right here, right? And then she got down in the comments and she said that y'all was still mad from something that she said like a week ago or something. She didn't need anybody to defend her. And she said, I said what I said, then I said it again. Let's get into it. Erica Mena fired from Love and Hip Hop for calling Spice a blue monkey after making comments about her son. This one I'll get. Every time they get into it with Erica Mena, they always bring that shit up. That's the only thing they can say about her is this her son about her son. That's what's, fucked up. What's wrong with her son? It don't matter what the fuck wrong with him. Don't bring him up. Like Spice said, your son don't like you. And I can't call you a motherfucking monkey. I don't think Erica Mena was using it as a racial slur. Maybe Spice looked like a monkey to her. Let a motherfucker tell me Ash don't like me. Whatever the fuck you look like. I'm gonna call you that. And the fact that they filmed it back in the dizzle and it come on now and then you choose to fire her for the backlash. You're not even protecting your cast. Like you now, I still don't think that Erica should have said what she said, right? But tell me what you think about what Just Hilarious has said. Because she stays in the news too. Let's keep going. Y'all, what is really going on with Diddy? Diddy has reassigned his publishing rights back to all the artists and songwriters who helped build Bad Boy Entertainment. And somebody down here tweeted, it's more than that. Something's going on. Do you think that the 
publishings have lost its footing, like as far as money goes? Like what's really going on? Because it's been a long time he's had these publishings. What do y'all think is going on? Diddy, what's happening? Y'all about to get on out of here because Jocelyn Hernandez is going to be sitting down talking to Carlos King. It's happening right now. And I'm going to listen to it and I'm going to talk about it. Will you be watching? And I think the next person he should talk to, don't y'all think like Tamar Braxton? Who do y'all think he should talk to next? It's your girl, Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.